Good morning, my children. And I'm not calling you children because you're small. I'm calling you children because I don't know who the heck you are and you're barely starting out in my channel. So don't take it offensive. We're going to use this and I'm going to tell you a story. Now, um, I was thinking of doing this by myself, but I think it's really fun and exciting to tell you a story about a um, experience I had with a customer and at the same time hurting myself in the process so wouldn't that be fun anyways um so basically this thing takes out the hair from your face the little hair on it and since I'm Mexican I have a lot of hair I have a lot so let's stop talking about my hair I mean yeah my hair I'm gonna talk about my definitely one of our, my customers um, that I have had to deal with in regards to my job. So, um, so basically, oh shit, um, the customer that I had to deal with had a service of carpet shampoo. And I don't do carpet cleaning. I basically just answer the phone. But... When the customer got the service, I'm not sure how many days happened afterwards that she had called. I'm guessing it was a little bit because then we could have been like, oh, it wasn't us, and blah, blah, etc. So she called, says that we had left her house, her carpet, with white spots of color or it looked different, it looked weird, and that her carpet was all brown. Or black or gray I'm not really sure it happened a while back so I was just like that's pretty much impossible because through, through the whole time of carpet cleaning is very simple and basic there's never really a more deep cleaning and there's never a basic cleaning it's more like it's always the same job same technique nothing extra nothing less the only thing extra could be just the chemicals that you put in there but to be honest we never change them they have worked very well throughout the whole time that we've offered the service. So, um, in regards to that, I was just like kind of surprised that that even that phone call even happened. Um, to be honest, for carpet cleaning, we've never ever had a bad complaint. Uh, the only one I remember was someone who wanted an extra service on the same day when we had other customers right after. That's the only bad feedback we've had. I can definitely feel it. All right, so basically, man, there's so much hair that every time I go on the same spot, it takes out more hair. <laughs> okay, anyways, so I'm basically talking to this lady, telling her that that would be impossible because we don't use anything that would cause a stain, and we've used the same techniques for a very long time. She says, no, there's specs of whatever. So I decided to talk to her in person with my parents because again, the it's basically my parents' business, but I'm just a secretary where I talk on the phone to answer and make the appointments. So we decided that um, we should go over there and talk to this customer, you know, in person and explain to her if it is correct what she said and that we'll redo it or if it's really necessary that it doesn't change the fact that there's white spots we would have to bring the insurance in to fix the whole carpet the entire carpet so we wouldn't want that right so um the more claims you get to the insurance company the higher the cost would go so it's always best to make sure that you never call the insurance company you deal with it yourself unless there's no other option so anyways after all that, ooh, I'm getting to the hard part. After to the, after getting to um to her house, we're like, okay, can we see it? Um, and she's like, yeah, it's up there. Um, and she has her baby with her, and we go upstairs, and this lady. Uh, she tells us that it's on the floor. She doesn't come up with us. 
she just tells us it's on the floor and that you, you can clearly see that the there's white specks of um white specks of white spots and that we need to fix it and my dad he sees it he's like that's not that's nothing to do with what we did it had nothing to do so we told her if she can come up there and she said but i'm holding a baby and i'm like so you holding a baby would stop you from walking up the stairs anyways so i we then continued telling her that she can come up and she said okay fine such a big inconvenience for her going up her stairs where she could, totally could have ended up going up anyways later on so what's the point uh, she just, I think what she was expecting was that we were going to see it and we were like, okay, we'll fix it. We'll come back in to shampoo your carpet. I feel like it could have been that it had already been a couple of days. Because carpet cleaning definitely takes at least 24 hours to dry or less, depending on the weather or depending on if um, you had all the doors closed or open. So, or definitely also depends if the carpet was really bad. That's the only difference in team carpet cleaning is that if it was really bad, you take more water in and you take more out and put it in and put it out. So the more water used, the more damp it could have been at the end. And we always make sure to take out as much as water we can. But when it's in a very bad condition, um, it's most likely just a tad bit more damp than usual. And when it's less damp, it's because the carpet was in a good condition or... It had a couple of stains here and there, but not necessary to make a lot of water come out, come back in. So that's the only way that you can say that the water, oh shit. That's the only way that it could happen that, you know, it takes 24 hours to dry, max. Um, if in case it takes more, then you just give us a call and then we do it. But if that, that has never happened, so it's not something that we get called for. Anyways, back to the story. Um, so this lady then goes up there and says, okay, um, you see this white spots right here? Like, they're right here, blah, blah, blah. And my dad says, okay, explain to her, because my parents, um, they speak English, but they don't speak full on to a point they can explain what they're trying to explain without messing up. So they'd rather have me talk and be direct to her about what's going on so they so i tell her okay so um these are not from our machine um this basically does not look like something we could have done because our product is liquid not powder and the reason why we said that was because when you go down on the floor and you go like pop, 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 powder starts to come out and my dad says that it looks like someone came in during the time after we did the carpet to put powder on top for it to smell good you know because if um if you leave all the doors closed and you know no air is coming in or out it could stink up the carpet for not having any type of you know air just like clothing it's wet you don't have any air it gets all damp and nasty so I'm guessing the person thought of it that way, so they put in powder. Anyway, so my dad was trying to explain it to me to tell her, and I did. She said no, that it was our fault, that it was um, our machine. Oh, and by the way, if you remember, um, this lady had been called to inform her a day prior that the machines were not working. So we had to fix them, and that we most likely were not going to finish early or on time. Now, her excuse was that the machines, they were not working and blah, blah, but the machines that we use definitely works because basically we did so many houses that day and none of them had that experience and we've checked it. And plus, the thing was powder. The thing that was on the floor that she was complaining about was powder. So, oh, it is 5%. I gotta charge my phone. Hello, my children. So, I'm so sorry. So I had actually cut it off for a bit because my phone died. I had increased the um, brightness to it and it, apparently the phone can't take brightness. So, um, I had to wait at least an hour 
before I can come back. The where I left off was basically that she was going upstairs. So while she was going upstairs and she told us again that oh damn that you know it's our fault, blah blah blah. Um we had to show her that there was powder. So my dad then got a camera so that we can prove it. So I basically went pow pow to the freaking carpet and the whole powder started coming out. So after we showed it to her and we basically showed her that we were recording it so that there can be proof. Um, she then got a little aggressive because during the time we were talking, um, my parents had to inform me of how they wanted me to translate exactly what they wanted me to say to the customer because they don't want the customer to not understand the situation if they said it wrong. So they were trying to um, translate it to me and then afterwards I would translate it to her. So um, we basically had a very um, long minute conversation and when I tell you that when a customer is unhappy and we're trying to prove the customer that what they're saying is not true, a whole minute is like forever. So we were trying to have a conversation about why it is not true and that it was not our fault and that we're not going to do any actual cleaning towards the carpet. Um, I had told my, my parents that, you know what, she's not understanding. I think she doesn't get it. And I feel like she's just trying to say that it is, but it's not. And me telling her, again, it might not work. So when I said it that way in Spanish, but in a different way, because at that moment I was pretty pissed. But I didn't say it in a rude way. I was just like, she's not going to understand. Basically in Spanish. And this person... Um, then tells her, tells me, yeah, and then uh, she starts to, like, be all, like, extra and upset because I'm guessing she understood what I said or interpreted what I said. Because basically, when someone says, oh, no, 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 and you're having a conversation with her, but let's just say that this is her, like, hmm, and then I'm over here, right, and then I'm telling my parents, like, she ain't gonna understand, and then she over here, like, oh, what? Excuse me, I understand completely. You ain't trying to provide me the services you promised. And so I'm telling her, okay, ma'am, it's powder. Powder doesn't come from us. We never use powder. There's no powder coming from us. The services that we provide is water and liquid for the liquid chemicals for the carpet to be better. And it has never, ever left powder afterwards. So she ends up telling me it is our fault and blah, blah, blah. And then finally, at the end, she says that to vacuum it. Excuse me? She says to vacuum the powder. And we've told her, because she, she recognized it was powder afterwards. So after she recognized it, she then told us, then you do it. Vacuum it. And I'm like, okay. Before we continue... I feel like in any situation, there's a way of you to be able to say it to someone for them to do it. So if she would have been like, oh, I'm sorry, I, you know, I understand and I didn't know and this and that, you know, like, um, you know, I'm holding a baby. Like, you know, try to be nice and try to get us to vacuum their her, her carpet. We would totally, we would have totally done it. It might have been a little hard. Maybe she could have, like, said, you know, can, can you, like, vacuum it for me? Because I got my baby. Like, people are actually like that. I'm just saying. People are like that. So if she would have gone to that route, being one of those Karens that, like, afterwards realizes she's wrong. And so she apologized but also makes us do something that she wants. We'll definitely do it because she's a customer. You get it? But the way she says, like, okay, vacuum it. Like, it's our responsibility. Like, Okay, so you recognize this powder, you recognize it wasn't us, but you still want us to do it because apparently you were offended. Offended for us to tell you no. So that's basically it. So, and she's, she was technically offended, but also embarrassed, which sometimes when you're embarrassed, you kind of act out. And that's how I thought that she was doing. So at the end, we're like, we're not going to vacuum. 
we're not vacuuming, it's not our fault. And then she's like, something, something else. And then afterwards, she's like, get out of my house and blah, blah, blah. And because we basically were talking in Spanish. So after we talked in Spanish about how, okay, well, she doesn't understand. And what are we going to do? Like, we were trying to decide what we were going to do afterwards. And this lady, she thinks that we're offending her for talking in Spanish, but we were talking in Spanish to be able to solve the problem, not to offend her. So she then kicks us out of her house, and I say, okay. And I didn't say no bad words, which was very strange for me because um, usually in high school, I would say bad words to people because I feel like they're attacking me, so I attack back. And when she was calling me these names, because she definitely didn't like me, the way I was responding to her, telling her no, um, she then started yelling at me with bad words. Then she said that she was going to post a review. And then she ended up talking about my eye, my birthmark. And after that, I said, I turned around and I said, love you, bye. And she got even more upset because then afterwards she started yelling even more. I got in the car. I was boiling. Like, you have no idea. Whenever I get upset, anytime, anywhere, whatever, it doesn't matter, I boil. My whole skin, my everything starts to feel really hot and I start to shake my arms. But it's not as noticeable because I tend to hide it and I'm shaking. And at the same time, you can tell if I actually talk because then I'm like, when I'm talking, I'm like, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the way I talk when I'm crying or I'm about to cry or when I feel like I'm being attacked, it starts to change my voice. And then when I start to feel all that tension, I start wanting to cry. And so all I can say to her without saying any type, any type of bad words, because she is still a customer no matter what was to um say bye and a kiss so that was one of my bad customers in real person because to be honest all of my customers are all through phone and this customer i had to actually come to her house and talk to her in person so it was a really big experience for me in that moment because it was the first time actually talking to a bad customer in person rather than them yelling at me over the phone um, one little short story before I go, because I'm not even doing this. I definitely need to do both sides because then it's just going to look weird. Hair from one side and hair not the other side. So, oh, fucking shit. I have a lot on the side. Let me start with the, let me finish this side first. Anyways, so, um, afterwards, I just remembered I finished the story. Okay, I'm sorry. It's because I'm so distracted by this. I'm going to give you one more story. There was this one lady. She sounded black on the phone. So I'm not really sure. She sounded black because her tone and the way she talks. Usually, um, after talking on the phone for a very long time with customers, you tend to try to figure out their identity. I don't know what happened that she went from nice she was one of the crazy ones because she went from nice in a couple of minutes to yelling at me and saying <laughs> and telling me that she won that she's gonna beat my ass. And to be honest, what could occur for me to offend her that much? Like it could have been a lot with the price because a lot of people like to lower down the prices. So that definitely it caused someone to go crazy, but not that crazy. Like, it really was so strange to me. I was just, like, laughing my ass off afterwards because I was like, what the heck just happened? Anyways, look. Let me show you. Can you see? Can you see? I can't see. Mm. Let me see. If you can see it. See it. So, I don't know if you can see the hair. Oh, you can see the hair up there. It's stuck in there. See that? So, yeah. Focus. Thank you. So, yeah. So, maybe I should just... Ooh. 
definitely something. Look, I got a lot of pimples over here. You see that? Definitely there because every time I just feel like anxiety out of nowhere. <laughs> I just like, I start going over here and I feel like a bump and it's not even a pimple. It's just something that left like that because I kept picking at it. So then I'm like, is that a pimple? And then I start thinking, should I scratch it? And then I start thinking, okay. And then I start going, K -ch -ch -ch. and I, I'm squeezing it. Like, I don't even use a mirror. I just think in my head and I'm just like, okay. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And I look and there's nothing coming out. And then when I go like this again, there's just blood. And I go in the mirror and I'm like, oh, it wasn't a pimple. It was just my skin. That's it. And I basically caused the whole scars right here because of me. It was on my fault.